Hey, what's up, guys? I got another tackle warehouse unboxing for you. It's actually two orders. Um, one order is I made when I was out of town. As soon as I got home, it arrived, and I got going through it a little bit, and I decided that I needed a couple more things um, to go along with this. It's mainly storage. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two orders together because they kind of fit with each other. But let's go ahead and get started. The, the, big, the big thing that I got... Um, is I got a Bass Mafia box. This is the deep version. I got this for swim baits. Most of these dividers I'll take out. Um, I just I wanted to get a really good box for for my swim baits because you know swim baits are expensive and I just and it looks like this is going to hold majority of them. At least I'm hoping. I hope I don't have to get another one. Well, this is a pretty sweet box. I mean, you can just feel this thing is legit. This is this is a heavy-duty box. And let's get into the unboxing. Pretty good sized box. Got a Tack Warehouse t-shirt. Another orange one. Now here is all. Uh, you see, these are the two receipts. There's one sticker, there's another sticker. Let's go ahead and start out with the real good things. I got a Matt Lures, Bluegill Ultimate. This is the Ultimate 2. This is TW Gill, this is the Baby Gill. This thing is just, I mean, it's its gonna match perfect. It's, it's sick. This is the boot tail one for swimming. You guys see the color in that? That thing is going to match as a bluegill perfect. It's got the little fins. This this blue, this one is mainly for swimming action. They have a flat tail one that's for like bed fishing and stuff like that, but I didn't want that. I wanted the the swim. Pretty limber tail. pretty sweet then I got another one in the matte lures this is the this is the matte lures ultimate blue gill swimming this is the female gill I believe these are the five inch ones. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure these are the five inch ones. I don't know if you guys can see the color in that. That's pretty, pretty wicked. It's got the boot. It's got the fins. Nice and soft. And you guys will see in this this unboxing that is majority of its um, swim baits. I really uh, got hooked on them last fall. Really looking for a big uh, big fish up here in New York. Then I got I think this is called the pronounce it Vega Bond. This is the Simpson Five Big Tail Bluegill Slow Sink. this for you guys well it's connected somehow like zip tie or something but it's got a rubber tail on this side it's got the writing on it pretty sick lure Then I got a Thai Lure Custom Baits. This is a bluegill swim bait. This is a male bluegill slow sink. I 
and this hook this pops down they cut one barb off it there's like a little plastic uh, keeper that that snaps into heard good things about this little swim bait tell it's got sticky sharp hooks oh and I got some savage gear herring shads ready to fish not sure what size these are they look like they're around about six inch they got a top hook these are these are pretty cheap I think they're I don't know you get two of them for like eight bucks or something like that Then I got two packs of Robo Easy Shads. This is in five inch Easy Shads and Watermelon Magic. And I got a pack of five inch Easy Shads and Prison Perch. And here's another bluegill swim bait. This is a CL8. Bluegill swim bait, slow sink. I think this is maybe a four inch. Really keying in on the bluegill is the main forage up here. I do have a few lakes that are uh, trout have trout in them, so I do have a few swim baits and trout. Here is a Huddleston. Six inch deluxe. This is in Phantom Trout, Rainbow Trout. No, Phantom Juvenile Trout, sorry. So you can see that's kind of translucent, you can see through it. That The, the lake that I mainly fish these in um, is super, super clear. So this will fit perfect for that. And there's the. I really like my Huddlestons. And here is the new Huddleston. This is the Huddleston Deluxe 68 Special. And this is the ROF12. And that the um, Phantom one is uh, RFL12 too. But this one's a 6 inch bait with an 8 inch tail. As you can see, the tail is huge on it. And this one is in silver black. We have a lot of shiners in our water, so this will fit perfect. And I got a couple more swim baits. I got a Savage Gear. And this is in Bluegill. This is the um the Slow Sink Big Glide. Glide Swimmer 135. And that's 135 millimeters, so whatever size that is. I don't this is small, it's the smaller version. But the colors in this is pretty sick. Looks just like a bluegill. It's got a nice rattle. As you can see, it's got a real wide swing to it. And I got another one. It'll be the same size, 135 millimeter. This one, Dirty Silver Flash. This one's kind of neat because I've never seen a swim bait have a feathered tail on the back. You know, usually it's just top water stuff like that. That's a pretty, pretty shiny bait. They got short shank trebles already on them. Sticky sharp hooks. And I think I got one more swim bait. And this is the decoy 5 inch hydro tail. This is in bluegill. I've seen a review on keeping it real fishing about this bait. So I had to try it out. It's got a really unique tail to it. I'll show you the guys that. 
It's got like a hourglass tail. And the colors of this, I hope the camera will pick it up, but it's got the pink, it's got the blue. Pretty sick little bait. And it's small. It's about the size of my hand. We'll compare it. This is a six inch Huddleston. And that's the five inch Hydra. Um, like I said, he, he did a really good review on this. This thing looks pretty sick. And I think, this, to be honest with you, these things are only about $11. So that's pretty cheap swim bait for that kind of quality. Recessed eye. As you can see, I don't know. Like, I can see all that little blue shimmer in that. Well, then I got a do realist spin bait 80. This is in bluegill. I played around with um, this a little bit last year. Um, really liked it, so I plan on getting a bunch more of these. That's as you can see, that's a lot of detail. Had to get a couple of these live target bait balls in jerk shad, or in a jerk bait, sorry. This is uh, four and three quarters, five eighths ounce, silver green. I think it looks pretty sick. And here is another one, the same size. This will be pearl blue. And these dive, I think, about three to four feet. Yeah, they're three to four feet. And there's, turn it upside. And I got one of the Spro Bronze Eye Shad 65 and Killer Gill. Been meaning to pick this thing up since they released it. Just kept forgetting about it. Pretty cool. Vertical tails instead of the horizontal. It's got a unique V shape. I'd say they're supposed to walk a lot better. And I got a couple things. I got KVD line conditioner. I swear by this stuff. Best stuff on the market, in my opinion. Then I got some Wave Away. Another thing, a Wave Away. My cloth got just starting to get wore out, and my bottle's starting to run low. So I got another thing for this year for my uh, my graph. This stuff is absolutely the best for electronics, sunglasses, cell phones, pretty much anything. It's awesome stuff. Highly recommend it. Then I got some owner stinger hooks. These are a size four. These are for the Huddlestons um, to put down in the belly. I'll do. I, I'm going to do a video on that modification too. Um, I was running low on these. I got the Vike worm tungsten worm weight. And this is in sixteenth ounce. I like the 16th with a PTL 6 stick with a little blade on the hook. This is my kind of my go-to rig for the 6 stick. I got some more missile baits, but that's because the, my missile bait order, they didn't care, have these. Um, I really like the June Bug, Blue Bug. I got two bags of them. And after uh, I made this order, they called me back and said that uh, they were out of Green Pumpkin and the baby... D bombs, so I got two bags from Tap Warehouse. And I'm, I'm all set on baby D bombs and D bombs in general. And they were out of this. I really wanted to try these twin tail turbos. Um, this is in Bammer Craw. 
This is just like an Alabama craw. Pumpkin on top, orange belly. Then I got a bunch of Denny Brower Mustad Grip Pin Flipping Hooks. I got three packs of five odd. Sorry. I got one pack of six odd, just in case I want to get into a bigger bait. And three packs of four odd. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these out for you guys. I messed around with the Gamagatsus last year. I really liked the Gamagatsus, but after a while, the um, the grip pin would uh, start spinning. These are all welded. So I'm, I'm really liking the looks of these. I think they're going to do very well. And uh, I was using the hack attacks, but to be honest with you, those were a little bit too beefy. And they were tearing up a lot of baits. If I was down in Okeechobee and stuff like that, I'd want the Strike King hack attacks. But for up here, these ones are going to be perfect for me. Then I got two more soft plastic. These are Strike King. But these are the Rage DB Cross. This is an Alabama Craw. And they're, they're both an Alabama Craw. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. It's not really, it's it's smaller than the Rage Craw by an inch, but the claws on it, I'm pretty impressed with. And the Alabama Craw, a little bit of orange in the belly. But as you guys can see, there's a little piece of plastic there that you can rip off, or you can leave them connected. If you leave them connected, I think it's going to give it a little bit more th thump, and I think if you pull it apart, it's going to be a little bit more subtle. Well, these are pretty cool. Definitely going to use them as a jig trailer for a more aggressive jig trailer. Well, uh, that's it for that Tackle Warehouse order. I'm pretty sure um, I won't be ordering from Tackle Warehouse um, for a while. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.